dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, the animated movie Dante's Inferno. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. everybody today is the sixth and we're taking a look at the animated epic dante's inferno that's right and this is uh based on the the video game of the same name which is based on the epic poem epic po divine comedy yeah the divine comedy um so basically By dante italian name yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> way to go uh so basically the story is about dante who is a crusader and and he uh goes into hell to search for his, his uh, beloved Beatrice, who was stolen away by Lucifer because she made a bet with him or a deal or something, I don't know. So he's just going in, and he has to kind of venture through each level of hell and, and meet the bosses or whatever. Uh, and it, and this one's odd. This one's done like, um, what was that Batman one, um, where it's done by different artists, so you kind of get a different take. And it's kind of jarring because of it. You know, like every now and then, like... You start off with like a slender Dante and then suddenly he's like this big bulky thing with this really pointy nose and you're kind of like, is that the same character but he's got the cross so you know he is? Uh, so it kind of does that. But it, it is interesting uh, in that respect. So uh, why, don't you, why don't you go ahead and take it away? Well, I actually kind of like that just because, it, yeah, again, it also feels like Animatrix kind of thing. Right. Um, but this one actually, it, to me, it kind of makes sense because you're, you're talking about the ten different circles of hell why wouldn't things be different? Because you're only kind of, you know, there in the ether. So, so it's not really, a, you know, whatever. It's your perception changes. It fucks with your head, you know, kind of thing. So I kind of, I kind of like that. Why are we doing the movie and not the video game? You ask. Um, I think probably because I like it better <laughs> than the video game. Oh. The video game is decent. You know, they tried to go after the gods of war, and for the most part, they they did it success successfully. But it just it reeked of boy we don't have enough time let's wrap this up so it kind of got boring the longer it got yeah like the longer through it but it was you know some of it was like really horrifying and like holy crap you know and i oh, love yeah. sailing past the heads that were lit up by candles and shit i mean this was cool do that and, cleopatra level that was, was freaky and i think that this actually does a better job of telling the story but then again it kind of suffers from the same thing it, it, i find myself getting a little bit tired towards the end and being like okay well i'm ready for this to end you know right. kind of thing which is really sad because they really could have turned this into like a 10 episode mini you know mini series or something you know an episode for each layer you know circle of hell which and they didn't do yeah. it, it's 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 based on a uh, divine comedy on um, on dante's inferno like inferno the first uh part first of the three books it was like really the first trilogy you know kind of thing um and it takes definitely some liberties. Uh, it makes, uh, what's her name, Beatrice's character much more whatever. She doesn't really show up in the Divine Comedy till like, the ending parts, you know, for the most of the weight. Anyway, so they definitely take liberties. But I still think it's a fairly good representation. They have a lot of dialogue that is very similar, if not the same, which I enjoy. It's, it's a period piece. And I enjoy seeing his struggle. I enjoyed the, the cutscenes in the video game as well. But this also feels, I wish they would do a game where they had, like, these anime cutscenes in the video game. But then again, it's one of those things, like, you're playing the video game and then you have to pause and wait. So it is kind of a weird thing, but it's it's always, whenever I watch this, I'm like, oh, I, I want to play that level now or something yeah, like that. You yeah, know, I want to do that boss battle kind of thing. But overall, I do actually kind of enjoy it. And I got this on Blu-ray for, like, eight bucks. Because I don't know. I don't know why. I guess it's not received very well. Ditto. I got the same one. It's not like the best freaking, you know, anime movie ever. But yeah. I think it's enjoyable enough. And again, it harkens back to something that I really enjoy. Um, uh, Inferno from, from Dante. I forget his last name. It's a very Italian thing. Yeah, Dante Fricciani. And people, you know, mistake it for The Seven Deadly Sins, which is not quite the same. But it's right. definitely inspired, you know, kind of thing. And, and, um, and seeing those harlots with appendages that come out of inappropriate places and stuff yeah. like that it's, it's shocking and it's like holy crap and it, i'm not sure i really liked that at first but it, there's some weirdness about it that i think is appropriate it's like oddly appropriate for hell you know yes. it is hell so my first is like oh that's too far i shouldn't have done that but when you're thinking about hell hell's got to be 
every second is, oh, that's too far. You shouldn't be doing that, you know, kind of thing. So, so I appreciate that it could have been even more like, you know, people being raped all the time or something like that. Um, you do see a lot of Beatrice's, you know, naked body, but it's mostly in a spiritual form and it's never really pointed at. It's never like, look at this, you know, kind of thing. So it's not really fan service. It's more of a, you know, classical telling of a story. Right. And it reminds me of, you know, paintings of Dante's Inferno, that era kind of thing as well, the etchings and stuff. Yeah. So I really kind of enjoy this. I don't know about you. What do you think? Uh, I, I liked it, but I, I, for, <clears throat> For me, when they do it, where they where they switch off artists, you know, and kind of mix it up a bit, it just feels. The first time they do that, they go in the circle of lust, and he's prettier. It, well, it's true, yeah, and he, he's kind of androgynous actually, and it is kind of creepy. He has long hair and he's slender. Yeah, and... um, but it's it's I don't know, it just feels kind of incomplete, because I guess I guess I need to see like the transformation, like. As he's entering yeah, okay. lust, you have to kind of you see just it. see it as what it is. It's yeah, five different guys yeah. doing right doing parts which of is, the animal. Which I, I think I think that in the Batman one that I I brought up the was it Batman? Is the, it year one or is it the other one? I, I I don't remember what the actual title was, but I got it with uh, the Dark Knight Rises. I think it's year one, but or you know, the Dark Knight Rises, the one with Joker. Uh, in any case, so I got that one, and that one does it in a way because each person is telling a story about Batman so they stay they see it in their own way yeah you know whereas this one is uh you're just watching Dante you're just kind of backseat watching Dante as he goes in it's not someone else's story it's what's happening but now that you say you know it's different in the different versions of hell I guess I could kind of understand well, that it's but... kind of the same justification as Animatrix right right because it's it, you know it's a made-up universe so it could be slightly different and there shouldn't be a big deal about it right, it's right. perception right. It's dealing with perception so so I guess what I'm saying is at first I didn't really see it as a complete movie because it just didn't feel you know the 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 aesthetics changed so so much that it it just doesn't feel it just feels like a patchwork movie and not really an actual movie um, but now that you bring it up, I think I'll have to watch it again just with that understanding and see if it makes more sense to me. Yeah, I, that part doesn't bother me. It's the it's the shortness of it, right. right? So it's like you have a boss battle to boss battle to boss. There's not a lot of exploration or exposition in between. So I kind of miss that, and that's why I said it would be great as like an anime where you had ten different episodes or maybe yeah, twelve yeah. different episodes or whatever. It would, I would that love... could be really cool, but then again, it could also be drawn out and boring. Right. I would I would love to see the the landscape of hell just kind of him interact with it more because it was mostly as you said him versus you know him against bad guy him against bad guy him against bad guy no exploration and no... just really quick. Yeah. Yeah, really yeah, quick. yeah. Um, yeah. So. But I still I don't know I I appreciate it for what it is and I. I you know, they, they could make a trilogy of games because there are three books. Now, the, the, the next two aren't quite as violent, so I don't know how they would do that. But yeah. um, but the anime, yeah, I, I I don't think it'll ever be, you know, touched upon again. But I would have loved to have it a little bit drawn out. I mean, dude, like the, 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 the level where all the babies, you know, come out. I mean, that's that could be really cool. It could be very, you know, Silent Hill. Yeah, yeah, I see that, yeah. So anyway, and again, the periodness of it, you know, has a near and dear place to my heart. Yeah, I mean, it is it is a good anime, just not a great movie. It's 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 good for what it is, and that's that's how you said it, and I'm going to agree with that. All so. right, all right, guys. Well, if you missed it uh, or saw it, and we're like, I don't know, it's got, you know, it's really cheap and it got bad reviews or whatever. Well, at least these two guys think you might want to look at it. Yeah, and the game, if you haven't played that, that is actually a pretty good game, and it's definitely a God of War clone, but it's. A clone like Ben Riley is a clone. It's still it's, a, it's, it's still a good. good clone yeah. up until the end because the end right. does get a little drawn out and a little more sparse and it does it just that's what happened. They like ran out of money or had to hurry it up or whatever because the levels aren't designed well. But the first part of it is, I think, right up there with God of War. I'm yeah. like, I'm not as huge a fan of God of War as you are. I actually like this better because it's it's a property that I'm familiar with. Although great, it's great to see like the Titans and stuff from the mythos of the Greek or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But, but I really do enjoy that, and they had some really awesome set pieces in that video game, and perhaps we'll review it at some point. But for now, uh, I think this you know does a pretty good w job of telling the story. It does not have those huge set pieces, so that kind of sucks. But it does have some of the creatures that are like, hey, cool, and then you know it's a unique spin on Cerberus and you know all this stuff. So. Right. So anyway, um, all right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlists. Game Labs have been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art prints, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, uh, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, we can chat all day. 
and we're both blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, little bits of the world I've created for 10 plus years. Uh, take a look if you like it, share it, support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry, so if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. See you later. No. I haven't got one. You're doing so well. Our movie this week is Killing Zoe. On today's dual review, it's the... Is it technically an anime? Yes. Well, is it an anime? No, it's called, yeah, it calls it's itself kinda. an animated movie. Well, it calls itself an animated epic. I had to get one this week. You're doing so well. Ah. And now is when you fail. Yep. Actually, um, on our downtime, I was kind of like, holy crap, he's getting so close, and you know, I know i got to fend him off. And then I was thinking about it, it's like, you actually have to do better than me for like four weeks still. So i gotta, I got I, I got a chance. i got a chance to keep it from being tired. You're fine. You say that, but you're catching up, man. You had a gift from the gods, and now you're catching up. Now you're catching up fair and square, though, so that sucks even more. <laughs>